What the F did he just say about crypto? What? This is going to blow your mind. Or it's going to get the logical circuit to connect on what we've been saying. First they resist it. Then they sue it. Then they regulate it. Then they join it. Welcome to my channel. My name is Coach JV. If you haven't liked or subscribed or hit the notification button, I do a video every day making the complex very, very simple. Today, I'm going to do a short, short video in the beginning, and I'm going to share with you guys my exact strategy on what I'm doing. We're getting thousands of messages a day. I'm going to share with you my exact plan and how I know that 99% of people are going to get wrecked in cryptocurrency because they're going to get excited and get caught sliding down the back end. So number one, you need to understand how to be an intelligent investor. Number two is you need to have an exit plan. And number three, I'm going to share with you exactly what I'm doing with my money. I don't know if it'll work for you, but it's worked for me and thousands and thousands of warriors. So let's dive right into it today. So it, it, I'm going to say it's unbelievable, but it's not. I mean, I've been sharing this with you guys for a very long time, but I don't know at what point people will start to use discernment and understand the system. First, they resist it. Then they sue it. Then they regulate it. Then they join it. We're now in the implementation and joining phase. So I'm going to show you two short videos of Larry Fink, the largest asset manager in the world that was tapped twice by our federal reserve that was created in 1913 to balance out the markets and the money flows think about that they control interest rates and he was tapped by the federal reserve in 2008 and 2020 to balance out the markets so i'm going to share with you what he said years ago years ago in 2017 around cryptocurrency and what he's saying now in 2023 let's pause for just a moment how much has changed since 2017? In 2017, Larry Fink is going to tell you exactly what he thinks about Bitcoin. Jamie Dimon said that you're a criminal. People were calling it rat poisoning. As the banking system, which I'm going to show you tomorrow, was getting set with real-time payments, on-demand liquidity, and you needed a shock to the system, as Rosie Rio says, to change consumer behaviors. So now here we are in 2023. Our banks are over leveraged. The consumer credit index is higher than it's ever been. America is at 120% debt to income ratio. We have more debt than we have gross domestic product. Very different than 2008 during the crisis. We had actually had a positive GDP. Now we're over leveraged. We have to borrow from other countries for critical services. And you think a 401k or a pension or your social security is your supplement for retirement? Do you know how many people retire with a million dollars in a 401k? Do your research. You have these people going back and forth and saying, oh, do you know how many people cash out of their 401k early? And people are worried about how the fees are and how much money. Oh, I'm going to make this much money in the 401k. 401k is a tax code to keep you poor. The multimillionaires that I listen to and I follow don't have 401ks. They don't have 401ks. That is a poverish investment strategy. Go to school get a job, get a 401k. So let's listen first what Larry Fink says in 2017 around crypto. And let's show you a tweet from Pomp around what Larry Fink said in 2023. Buckle up. Things, But there is something you disagree on. Yes. Bitcoin. Oh. <laughs> I want well, 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 you first tell all, me. You tell us well, the things you let, disagree let's on. Let's be clear. I don't spend any time thinking about Bitcoin. <laughs> I was asked a question about Bitcoin and I responded, but I don't have a strong opinion on Bitcoin. I heard you say you thought it was a... I said it was a... I believe it is an index for money laundering. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there you go. His words, not mine. He said it's an index for money laundering in 2017. All right, so let's fast forward to 2023. This was posted by Pomp. It says BlackRock CEO is now the chief marketing officer for Bitcoin. Pay attention. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it, it's digitizing gold in many yeah. ways. It's a, it's a, instead of investing in gold as a hedge against inflation, a hedge against the, uh, the onerous problems of any one country or, or, the, or the devaluation of your currency, whatever country you're in. Um, let's be clear, Bitcoin is an international asset. It's not based on any one currency. And so it, it, it can represent a asset that people can play like, as an alternative. I would call, 
the, the foundation of BlackRock is about hope. You invest for retirement because you believe tomorrow is better than today. So tomorrow is better than today. Bitcoin went from money laundering to an international store of value. That's, that's his words, family. So let's take a deep breath for just a moment. This is nothing new under the sun, and this is the greatest time in human history to build wealth. I'm going to tell you exactly how I'm doing it. We're getting thousands of messages. I'm just going to show you clearly how I'm doing it. I don't know if this will work for you, but this has worked for me. So when I left corporate America, the banking system, I went to CBA Executive Banking School. When I understood how the banking system worked, it didn't feel right to me. I'm not saying bankers are bad or anybody's bad. I was taught to go to school, get a job, get a 401k. Well, thank God I cashed out my 401k, not a recommendation, and built my companies. Because now as I sit, but let's pause for just a moment. Uh, this may turn you off, and I only want to have those who have ears to hear and eyes to see. Four years ago, so 2017 and 2020, I lost everything. I lost everything. I ended up on my parents' couch, but there was something that radically transformed in me four years ago. I decided to be pissed and stop fighting an invisible enemy and understand how the wealthy operate. So everybody's arguing back and forth that the stock market is the best investment. This is about gold's the best. Here's the thing. You don't make money and retire unless you can protect your wealth. So here's exactly what I'm doing, okay? I was indoctrinated. So the reason why I lost everything again four years ago for the third time in my life is because rich parents have rich kids, poor parents have poor kids, middle-class families have middle-class kids. I had to rewire the foundation. So I rewired the foundation and understood how money worked. Read the book, Intelligent Investor, Richest Man in Babylon, Think and Grow Rich. I've been reading for almost, gosh, 12 years at that point, the secret secrets of the millionaire mind. Okay. Becoming your own banker by Nelson Nash and boom, my mind completely expanded. So the first step I did is I got out of being an employee in my business, running inside my business to scaling up and bringing people onto my staff and running my businesses. So I went from being in the business to actually running the business. So that was number one. Number two is I started to take profits out of my crypto and I secured it in things like index universal life. Number one, it guarantees my principal. So as you're losing your money in the stock market or 401k and the cryptocurrency when it comes collapsing down after the bull run in 2024 to 2025, I have now secured my principal and I'm compounding it. Okay. If the markets go down, I stop at my principal. Nobody can touch it. Nobody can sue it. Bankruptcy can't touch it and the IRS can't touch it. I can also leverage against my own policy and I have living benefits and a death benefit depending on how it's set up or how much cash value I use during the policy. So that secures my wealth. Then I have precious metals for bartability, silver. Then I have real estate. I'm getting into real estate and I've diversified in business. So here's exactly what I'm doing. So I went from being on my parents' couch four years ago to an earned income of about 300,000 and this year I'll make it to 500,000 being the top 1%. So I learned how to earn Okay, and I can teach you guys how to do this. You have to learn how to earn first. I created a budget. I created more cash flow. And I learned how to make money, make money. So I learned how to earn, number one. Number two is I learned how to secure. And number three, I learned how to leverage properly. So basically, when the bull run goes up, I will have an exit plan. So as you guys, you guys are getting excited, your family's coming into crypto, just like BlackRock, they're going to be selling you their crypto. I'll be selling my crypto. I'll pay my taxes. And I will secure big profits into IUL policies. I will have a legacy policy, a retirement policy, and a leverage policy, okay? Then I will be taking money from my leverage policy if I need to, to buy more real estate, to buy more crypto as it dips back. So now I'm making money three different ways. So this is the key factor to understand. Wealthy people don't use 401ks. No wealthy person I met has a 401k. It's a tax code. Look up 7702 which is an insurance tax code and was around using insurance for building wealth tax-free retirement. Then you have a tax code called 401k. Do your research. 294,000 people. Fidelity is the number one 401k holder. 294,000 in 2022 had a million dollars in their account. What is the population of America? And do your research too. Instead of just having someone on YouTube fudge you out of these things, right? Or say, this is better, this is better. Let's look at the facts, figures, numbers, logic. So people always say, well, I'm not going to cash out my 401k because there's people. Well, the fact is a lot of people actually have to cash out their 401k during their living years and they get penalized anyways. So now they're in a shitty product. They're getting taxed on the back end when they're supposed to be retiring. They have to downsize to survive and rely on social security. 
Think about that for just a moment. Or you can put your wealth after you boom in crypto and secure the principal as you watch all your friends and family come collapsing down on the back end, 85%. And now you held on to your principal. And then when it comes collapsing down, you take an asset back loan and you buy the dip. And now you multiplied your money, richest man in Babylon. That's what I'm doing. It's exactly what I'm doing. And so down below, we set it up so you can do a free consultation with my IUL team. They're specifically around IUL. I was so passionate about it. I've been doing IUL. I've been uh, using IUL for about two and a half years, two years and eight months now. I got licensed myself and I decided to build my own team. That's how passionate about it. That's just one part of our strategy, though. And I'm not saying it's right for you. It just makes sense for me because when I earn, my number one thing is to secure that. So number one rule is don't lose money. Number two is follow rule number one. OK, I saw in 2021 from 2021 to 2022, my portfolio went down 85 percent, 85 percent. People went from super excited in crypto to broke. But we had a strategy horizontal. We built more companies. We bought more equity. We had our IUL policies. And now the next cycle is going to be generational wealth. So, yes, insurance isn't as sexy as all the other stuff. You're probably not going to get the type of returns you do in cryptocurrency, but they're not returns if you come collapsing down the back end. How many people do you know in crypto are multimillionaires? Think about that. The influencers who are selling you meme coins and selling you all these things, they are. The top of the house is always going to make the money. The pool, the money ends up in the same pocket every single time, guys. So instead you understand what the pond looks like and how to get on that side of the pond and understand how money actually flows through the system, you're going to get stimulus checks coming up through universal basic income and probably fed now services. And guess what? That goes into the bank and they take the bank and they leverage the money out three times over. So when you put your money into a fixed account, a bank account, they put it into bank owned life insurance. Look up bank of America, how much life insurance they own guys. Ask yourself a question. Why aren't they selling you the same type of insurance? Number two is they're going to take your hard earned money and lend out a hundred percent of it to the next person walking in at 10 to 23% interest on a credit card or an auto loan or a home loan at 6%. And then number three, they're going to take your deposits and put it in the capital markets. So all I'm doing is doing the same thing. I use a bank account. I run money through banks. I use it to transact. We have to pay employees. We do all those things. But when I get larger amounts of money, I'm going to be setting up more policies. And I'm going to become my own bank. And when I pass away, my family will have a family office that the life insurance will pass down and it will keep passing down over and over again. Look up the Rockefellers and the Vanderbilts. Ask yourself a question. Why after seven years did the Vanderbilts go broke and their money ran out? And the Rockefellers are some of the wealthiest family in the world. Do your research. So don't believe a word I say, trust the feeling and vibration and go do your own, prove me wrong, which will prove you right. Okay. So we have to start to understand people like, oh, you know, this or that, this or that. You have to just look at the facts, guys. Most people in America are broke. 94% of Americans have less than a million dollars. So that's a fact right there. Let's take out 401k. Let's take out crypto. 94% of Americans retire without a million, uh, less than a million dollars. With inflation and interest rates right now, we're fucked. You're fucked if you're trying to retire. So the 6%, what are the 6% doing? They're doing their finances different than you. And yeah, maybe you have some, and there's 294,000 401k accounts with Fidelity. How many people do you know are retiring, balling out of control, playing with their grandkids, traveling the world on a 401k? Very few people that I know. They don't have any living benefits with their 401k either. Insurance is a tax code that was created around 1913, the 7702, and the tax code is to benefit the wealthy, guys. So would you rather be in a vehicle that benefits the wealthy or a vehicle that the 401k creator in 1978, I think it was, 1978, the 401 creator, the godfather of four, the father of 401k said, man, I just created a product, his words, I'm paraphrasing, that made Wall Street wealthier. Think about that. You know, we can argue back and forth, fees, no fees, you know, this system, this system. I think they're all right. I think Dave Ramsey is right. I think Robert Kiyosaki is right. I think Grant Cardone is right. I think Ed Milet is right. I think Patrick Bet Davis, Bet David is right. I think the key is to understand what's right for you. But Patrick Bet David, Ed Milet, Robert Kiyosaki, Dave Ramsey, they're not in the system. Dave Ramsey is all about paying off debt. He's very biblical, right? That's a good thing to do. Worldly debt sucks. Robert Kiyosaki tells you to leverage everything, but he's very smart when he leverages. 
Ed Milet built one of the largest insurance companies. That's how he built his wealth. Insurance is the largest wealth builder in the world. That's why I'm building an insurance team to help educate people. He did the exact same thing. Patrick Bet Davis, David, I think has an insurance company. Brad Lee has, these are all people you guys follow and you respect. They all have insurance companies. Guys, think about this. We have to understand what the wealthy do. If you're taking advice from your parents or your grandparents or your drunk uncle at the barbecue, ask yourself a question. What does their retirement look like? What does their life look like? What does their lifestyle look like? What are their ethics and morals look like? And you need to learn to seek wise counsel. Okay. The 99% of the populace say 97% of population is broke. So why are we taking advice from the 97% when we can actually see what the 3% are doing and model and mimic what they're doing? And then you can do good things. You can stop blaming this elite or 1%. Stop calling them the elite. Like they're not elite. They're not better than you. Who knows what they're doing with their money? Stop worrying about them. Worry about yourself and your actions, your behaviors, your discipline, your consistency. In the beginning is the end. Your decisions today matter. And I think that's why God put me in this position. Four years ago, I was broke on my parents' couch. So if that turns you off, you shouldn't listen to me. But damn well, I did something about it. I worked my fucking ass off to get here. And now I'm helping thousands of people do the same thing. I'm not better than anybody else. I'm not greater than anybody else. This is available to all of us. But the difference was I drew a line in the sand and said enough is enough. I was more committed to the pain of change and staying the same. I rewired the foundation to create a new situation. And I didn't have to change my external reality. I actually manifested and created my own matrix. Everybody's telling you to escape the matrix when you came from the womb, the matrix. Why don't you create your own in the beginning was the end. Warriors, rise, get your shit together. Let's go. In the description down below, you can set up a free consultation with my IUL team. We'll see you on the inside.